All right now, so before y'all even say anything about my hair, let me just get into exactly what I'm going to do. I know it looks crazy. This is a two-day-old wash and go, and I've worked out. I actually just finished working out. And I wanted to show y'all how I actually utilize this two-day-old wash and go. Like if I'm not in the mood to wash my hair or do anything, I'm going to do a braid out on this hair. So if you're interested in seeing it, stay tuned. Okay. So I'm gonna show, um, let me just tell you why I'm laughing. I banged the hell out of my knee and I was still filming so I had to stop and then I looked at it and laughed at it. I should have kept it, I deleted it. It would have been an excellent blooper. But anyway, um, so I'm gonna use this Elastic QP that came in my May Curl Box. I've never used it. That's what it looks like. Mmm, it's olive oil and mango butter moisturizer. And this water bottle it has water in it and a little bit of coconut oil so that's all I'm going to be using so first you want to part your hair wherever you want your hair to be parted so I'm going for the side I'm not gonna my obviously my hair is tangled as you can see but I'm not gonna detangle my hair just gonna separate it as such boom so and I'm gonna work I'm gonna then I'm gonna part it down the middle in the back so that I can work well, not really part it just separate it so that I can work with one side at a time so I'm just gonna go on ahead and clip this side out of the way like that. I don't know why I think that this one clip can hold and then for the sake of the camera I'm gonna start in the front I usually start in the back and I don't want my braids too small. I still want a lot of volume with my braid out. So. And you're just going to moisturize your hair a little bit. You don't want it. You just want it a little damp. You don't want it soaking wet. That's good. I'm just going to. Pull out, you know, some dead ends. Well, some, so you know, some some hair that already came out, but I'm not really gonna detangle. So, all right. Like I said, I don't want really, really super small braids. I want, I want them pretty big braids. Okay, we're gonna take some of this olive oil and mango butter, maybe that much. I've never used this, so this will be my first go at it. My hair. You know, pulling out some straight hair at the end. It feels nice. I like it. it smells delicious and then we're going I wanted to twist it I was so I'm so like I don't do braid outs but I wanted to try it so that we're just gonna go ahead and braid it pretty tight braid Take a little bit more for the ends just to make sure that the ends are really moisturized. Give it a little twirl. Not the most perfect braid. Like I said, I don't do braid outs, but that's basically it. You're going to do this to your entire head all right braids now and i look like miss seely but yeah so let me just show you it's not that many braids i didn't count them maybe like 10. you should have something like that 
Now what you want to do is put on a satin bonnet or a satin scarf and call it a night and take it down the next day. Also, I forgot to mention this style is also really good for people that are transitioning. So, because uh, it masks, masks both of your textures. Um, if your ends are still straight, you can take some flexi rods or some of those sponge rollers and put them on the end so that they'll curl. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And I will now show you the takedown. by far the best braid out I've ever done um, I don't do braid outs very often I don't like them but I like this this is so far the best I've ever done and I think I will continue to do this method um, I didn't use very much coconut oil to separate just a little bit I don't want my hair to be totally greasy so this product right here the Elast elastic QP this really moisturized my hair I really really do like it so once you take it all out from here, you can continue to separate it um, a little bit more, however you want. Or you can just leave them the way they are and throughout the day they'll fluff up. I love big hair. But, yeah, these are my end results. So, I hope you guys liked it.